For 1984-85, CBS has the perfect touch of excitement with five outstanding new primetime series. She seems like an extraordinarily ordinary woman. Maybe you're living with somebody. How about a prison record? But what if she's the most surprising new detective in the country? He gave me the goosebumps. Oh, yes, and I'm sure no one will ever guess the uncle is the killer. What if she wrote a best-selling thriller? And now, every proposition... Oh, no. No, 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 it was nothing like that. Now, every invitation has a curious way of leading to murder. <laughs> or madness. I'm just fine. Well, I'm not. Or even a double-barreled mystery. You're telling me we've got two possible victims and two sets of suspects. Of course, you've guessed that Angela Lansbury is J.B. Fletcher. Jessica Beatrice to my friends. Investigating all-star murders and murderers every week in the frightfully delightful new series, Murder, <laughs> She Wrote. This fall, Scott Mayo is Charles in Charge. Charles, when you told me you took this job taking care of the children and you moved in with this family, right on top of going to college, I thought you were insane. I am turning into someone who has new responsibilities and needs to be in control of himself. But he's caught in the ultimate generation gap, smack dab between kids and parents. Alexander Morgan is only the class president, best athlete, athlete fabulous looking, most excellent boy in the world. Alexander is coming over tonight so Lila can help him with his homework. I'm 35 years old. I'm probably not going to have another little girl. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You're telling me that even if this guy looks at her wrong, you'd like me to break his legs. Would you do that for me, Charles? Yes, sir. And how easy can it be to love the most popular girl on campus? Hello, hi. And set a good example for the kids. You kissed me. You kissed me back. How friendly. I kissed you friendly, Charles. You meant your kiss. Oh, well, yeah, I meant my kiss. I always mean my kiss. Well, except for an aunt I had, I didn't believe in electrolysis, but she's dead now. I've always felt bad. Yeah, well, you really had me going, didn't you, with all your charm and your modesty in this cute little house of yours, huh? You probably rented the kids just to throw me off guard, didn't you? Lindelum, what is it? Was it a bad kiss? Oh, you can tell me. I'm not proud. I've got one kiss. If it's no good, teach me. Here, use my face. <laughs> Thank you. Is this what happens when boys start talking to girls? It's Charles in charge, but not always in control. Charles is turning out to be a very good idea. This is ER, where trained professionals dedicate themselves to saving lives. This is a hospital. Now let's all try to act like professionals. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Elliot Gould stars as Dr. Howard Scheinfeld. I thought you said it wasn't gonna hurt. Ah, it didn't hurt that much. Yes, it did. How do you know? Did you go to medical school? <laughs> Dr. Eve Sheraton is the emergency room supervisor, a physician with a more buttoned-down conservative approach. Want some? I didn't come back here for a coffee break, doctor. Gee, I don't believe in sex while I'm on duty. <laughs> Scheinfeld. All right, just this once. <laughs> the high pressure demands of emergency medicine. Clark Street ER, hello. Take a toll on personal life. Dr. Scheinfeld, line three, wife two. And Dr. Scheinfeld is a case in point. You'd make a great ex wife. I ever intend to be an ex wife? Nobody does until they marry me. ER, where the unexpected always pops up. Sheila, <laughs> are you pregnant? Huh? <laughs> No, she's just fat. You have a beautiful baby daughter, Sheila. That ain't my baby, Mama. This is ER. Highly trained men and women working together under extraordinary circumstances. Dr. Um, Scheinfeld, I work with Vicky in pediatrics. She wanted me to tell you hi. Elliot Gould stars in ER, coming this fall to CBS. Patsy! Picture this. Mrs. Reynolds is the beauty. Mac Harper is the brawn. Together, they provide the perfect cover. Very impressive background. Special training in martial arts, advanced skills in the use of chemical interrogation. Now, would you take your clothes off, please? Well, I got this thing about clothes. I decide when they come off. I would like you to help me find the people who murdered my husband and why. And then I would like you to help me punish them. They are a uniquely formidable team. That's gonna cost you, fella. I wasn't looking. Facing international intrigue. Going where other government agencies wouldn't dare. 
With her worldly reputation and money, she can open any door. His expertise and bravery can get them out. We're going to be working for you. What? It's done all the time on higher levels, but uh, a senator dies, his wife is appointed to take over his job. Danielle, that is not quite the same thing. Her husband's work was important, Henry. He died for it, didn't he? Of course, but listen. I don't think you realize that I have been everywhere in the world where you're having trouble. And I know that Americans get into jams that they can't get out of, and you can call in the Marines. I'm very well aware of the problem. I am in charge of it. Now listen to me very carefully. Not every case turns out this well. You were lucky. I don't believe in luck. Luck is a matter of putting yourself in the right place, at the right time, with the right people. And we are the right people. Jennifer O'Neill and John Eric Hexum perpetrate the perfect cover-up. CBS presents a new generation of comedy series. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. Five young people determined to make it in the pressure cooker world of rock and roll. They've got the sound. They've got the stuff. And they've got all the right moves. The only thing they don't have yet is success. Do you know that I've worked in nine malls in the past four months? Now they're bag ladies that can't say that. Bummerama. Bummerama? You're right. This is beyond Bummerama. I cannot believe this. Because for Gino Minnelli, Phil Taylor, Martha Spino, and Morris Wiener, it's blue collar day work in South Philly, but it's rock and roll by night with the help of their hip new manager. Until I straightened him out, he thought Boy George was the kid on the Waltons. Two minute warning, Louise. Then Lisa Copley enters their lives. That girl is rich. The last time I saw so much money in one place, playing Monopoly. And Gino falls hopelessly in love. You could be any song in the world right now. What would you be? Beat it. You are a total party reptile. Don't touch me. I belong to another. But Lisa also has a dream to sing with a band and she can make all their dreams come true. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. She's in the band. There isn't enough room in this, this band for another girl. All I want is a chance. When I see talent, I weep. Look at these tears. These are tears of talent. She's great. So this new five-person band is on its way to make their dreams a reality. In my heart, I the moon. John Stamos stars in Dreams from the producers of Flashdance, coming this fall on CBS. This is the stuff.